Tony, you start. Kaylin, were you up at, at midnight last night when the clinch officially happened? I stay up late, so it's not really out of the usual. <laughs> but yeah, I was up. I didn't see it. How did you react? Were you watching the end of those games to see that it became official in the moment? Yeah, I watched the end of them, honestly. My reaction was I turned it off and I went to sleep. <laughs> I didn't even check my phone until the next morning. That's kind of when I had the most messages and stuff. So um, definitely cool, um, especially like before we really it doesn't have to come down the wire for us. Like, I think that's special. Like you can just really relax and play basketball and have a lot of fun. But for us, like, yeah, we accomplished that. But like, there's still so much more left on the table that we can do. We can position ourselves better. We get six at home to have a lot of fun. Like, you know, these are ones that are very winnable for us. So um, I think just still going one game at a time that has done so well for us um, to get to this point. I think that should still be the focus. Yeah, Coach was saying she hoped maybe a little bit that one of them would lose so you guys could clinch tonight and have it be a little ceremony. Did you ever think about that? No, I'm just like, <laughs> it's just like uh, whatever makes it. I mean, it's all kind of very confusing. Like, I didn't even know until yesterday morning that that was even a possibility of, like, because, like, there's just so much that goes into it of, like, us winning and other teams, you know, winning or losing. So um, the sooner it happens, the better for us, I guess. I mean. Yeah, I'm not really into the party, so whatever happens, happens. I mean, go Matt and go Christine. Yeah, Christy was saying that she was texting uh, her assistants this morning, so kind of the same question I asked her, but what, what was the most notable interactions that you had uh, with your teammates, with Christy, any of it today? I mean, obviously, like, this is a big moment for this organization. Um, this is it was the longest, you know, playoff drought in, you know, WNBA history, if I'm not mistaken. So it's definitely a big moment for this place. But at the same time, like, I came in with the expectation that this is what's going to happen. Like, for me, this isn't, like, a party. Like, yeah, it's great. I feel like it's a great accomplishment. But, like, there's so much more left to be done. Like, yeah, we made the playoffs. There's six regular season games. I mean, I'm not just happy to be in the playoffs. I think we have the type of team that can win and advance um, going one game at a time so I think that's what it is for for all of us is like yes yeah, celebrate it enjoy it like it is really huge for this organization um, not having been to the playoffs since Tamika was here if I'm not mistaken so uh, it's been a long time um, and I think I'm definitely most happy for Kels like Kels has been with this been at this place for seven years and you know has never been to the playoffs so she definitely deserves this moment and obviously she's been playing really good basketball too so uh, she's definitely, you know, help us, helped us earn it. Go, Christine and Scott. Kaylin, uh, in addition to all this, there have been the awards for you. And, and like I said it with Christy, the, the emails kept coming so much, I felt I'd already read one and then there was more. Mm -hmm. What does that mean to you? I realize the team is huge and that's where you are now, but especially with the way things were going, some of the naysayers and the negativity that was out there about you, um, mm -hmm. to have what's happening now. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's definitely cool and special. Um, I feel like I've had an opportunity to kind of adjust and get comfortable, and I feel like I'm starting to play good basketball. Um, at the same time, I feel like there's still so many ways that I can continue to improve and get better for this team. But at the same time, like, I felt like Kels probably should have got a, a little love. I honestly thought she probably should have been player of the month. Um, just what she was doing and at the clip she was doing it, I think she was like 50, 40, 90 this month, which is really, really hard to do. Um, so I feel very fortunate to play with her. And um, honestly, I, I'm not even trying to be corny. Like, I really think she deserved it. So um, I think sharing that with her and um, I feel lucky to have, you know, a kind of a backcourt mate that has been, you know, through this for seven years and has really helped me and kind of let me flourish. And same with Christy. And, um, but at the same time, it is cool. And, um, you know, I think Christy has definitely allowed me to be myself um, and kind of, you know, figure out this team, figure out how to be successful, and hasn't really held me back from, you know, kind of what I did in college. Yeah, sure, it's breaking some habits and getting used to some things that you do differently professionally, but at the same time, like, I didn't lose what made me really good and, and tried to bring that here and replicate that for this team, too. No, Scott, then we got a few ones. So. Caitlin, given that you said you expected playoffs, they posted where you just said smile <laughs> before the season.